I saw this title and I was like, damn, I have to watch this video. This title is just the funniest title I have ever seen in the history of titles. This is not a video that was recommended by you guys. This was a video that I just happened to cross paths with and straight up see the most hilarious title in the history of YouTube. Anime's biggest problem, women. <laughs> I just, I saw this title and I have to watch the video. I, I don't, is it about the fact that women are poorly written in anime? Like I feel, but this title is just so good. We have to watch this. I'm sorry. We're jumping into it. I have a lot, a lot of opinions on uh, female characters in anime. Jump anime right as a whole has a ton of issues from an overabundance of filler to mediocre plot right. from poor animation to poorly paid animators. Okay. But if there's one thing ruining anime above all else, one thing holding the oh industry back as a whole, oh, no. it's women. I mean, to be fair, w w some would argue that, okay, I can't even make the joke. I'm going to get so canceled i can't i have two strikes on my channel i cannot afford a third listen listen women of all you are safe until one strike <laughs> i'm joking oh god women in anime are a problem 90 percent of them only exist as fan service or as an accessory to the male protagonist i feel like that's not true at all it's rare to find a female character that has their own motives and gets their own character progression most of these women are not well written what i feel like that's not true like i would agree that in shonen anime which is only like a percent of what's going on especially old shonen anime there are a lot of poorly written female characters i would agree with that take but to say that as a whole 90 percent of female characters are, aren't well written i feel like that's not true what you don't believe me well to prove it we need to talk about what and you can't show etchy anime okay it's, it's like saying that the biggest complaint about porn is that the women are very shallow in porn watch a shoujo anime and the women are well written and the men are just you know shapeless blobs what a well-written woman even looks like in the first place and it's actually pretty simple a well-written woman is just a woman a woman with her own personality and her own motives and systems of beliefs a woman that is not there just to be sexualized and is not sexualized period i feel like that's a lot of them and also plays a major role in the plot and somehow most anime does not meet that measure what? especially in shonen anime okay in shonen anime it's a bit of an issue now there are a lot of well-written female characters even in the bad shonen anime <laughs> urza from fairy tale yeah she gets some sexy outfits and stuff but she is a well-written character so let's look at a couple of examples. What is an example of an anime that does a terrible job writing women? Well, we're gonna go with the most infamous example, My Hero Academia. I can't even argue with that one. My Hero Academia is not, you know. I think anyone that watches this show can acknowledge that the female characters in this show are not exactly well written. They are all. I would argue that um, Toga is an a really well written character. Sexualized to some extent, where they don't play a large role in the plot or both. Let's look at a couple of examples really quickly. Uraraka was a character I had a lot of hope for when I started My Hero, and I was just left disappointed. She has so much potential, but it feels like as the show goes- I feel like she never had potential. <laughs> I hate to be the, the bigger hater than this than this is Chris over here. Oh, and she just keeps getting whittled down more and more. And at this point, she's not much more than a love interest for Midoriya. Then there's Momo, a girl who was led into UA on recommendation the same grounds as Todoroki, and yet she plays a much less important role in the show compared to him. And she also lacks confidence compared to many of her peers. I mean, you could say that this is just a personality trait, but I it's would? such a common trope in female characters. I had is such it? high hopes for her going into this show because I thought her quirk was really cool, but she has not had a large role to play despite her abilities. Her outfit is also incredibly revealing, like incredibly revealing. What are you talking about, bro? She just needs more skin reveal so that she can pull more uh, weapons out of her pussy. And there's really no reason for it, especially when you see what many of the men are wearing. I can really only think of two characters that are strong female characters in My Hero, and one of them is an over-sexualized dominatrix. The other one- I don't think she's a well-written character, she's just kind of there. ...is Froppy. She seems to be really? fairly independent and doesn't feel like an- Is Froppy a well-written character? She's just kind of there. Toga's a well-written character. ...an accessory to any main character. Well, besides maybe this guy. But even in her case, she doesn't play a major role in the show. She's very obviously a side character, and while many side characters can be well written, 
It is disappointing to have to look this deep in the My Hero cast for a single good female character. I should probably mention that I am only on season 3 of My Hero Academia. Well, then never mind, because Toga becomes a better character later than season 3. But from what I've heard from other watchers, male and female, it doesn't really get much better. I could talk about the issues with the women in this show for hours, but I think it would be best if we moved on to an example of another anime that doesn't do their women that well, but still better than My Hero Academia. This time we're going to talk about Demon Slayer. De well, Demon Slayer was literally written by a woman, so... <laughs> so... Demon Slayer women are pretty hit or miss. You have people like Nezuko and Shinobu in the same... Which are both badass, mind you. I, I know that people don't like Nezuko, but I, I like Nezuko. Show. A lot of the supporting women are well written, but the major women, not so much. Like in the entire first two seasons, the female lead has zero lines. Literally zero. Even when she breaks her little mouth thing, all she does is growl. She's literally being turned into a demon. You can't possibly say that that's a negative part of what? Huh? See, listen, you, you, there are a lot of really bad characters, okay? You know, bad, fem poorly written female characters. Sakura, I think, is like the worst offender of like the, the female character archetype that sh that's plagued shonen, right? Like, uh, you know, the fact that Sakura is out there, her entire character is loving Sasuke, and then um, she loves Sasuke, loves Sasuke, loves Sasuke. She eventually says to Naruto, I love you, just to get him to kind of do something, and she does nothing for the rest of the show. Like, come on, man. And yeah, she's obviously physically strong, but Nezuko really feels like a plot convenience more than anything else. I did make a whole video OP done right on Nezuko, so I'm not gonna rehash those points here. She pops out of her box to save the day and then disappears for the rest of the season. Another example is Kanao, as she also has almost zero lines. This wouldn't be an issue if it was a show that didn't have a ton of dialogue, but like Tanjiro and Zenitsu have so many monologues, especially Tanjiro. But honestly, I don't think it's even really a woman a issue in Demon Slayer. I think it's just a character issue. None of the characters are that fleshed out, and they're all fairly one-dimensional. Okay, so then this isn't really necessarily relevant to the point of your video then. But I think even with that one-dimensionality, the male characters are written better than the female. But I think it's time to move on to some anime that do female characters a little bit better, starting with Attack on Titan. Attack on Titan has some great yeah. female characters, such as Ymir, Han Anji and Gabby, but what? Not mentioning Mikasa. It what? does also have some pretty bad ones as well, such as Mikasa oh. and <laughs> the strong character, right? Even right. Historia to some extent, as she's basically written out of the story Dude, after story season three, character. part one. Hanji and Ymir are both great examples of how to write a female character. They are multifaceted and have unique goals that suit their personalities. They have growth throughout their arcs, and the more we see them, the more we can learn more about them and that information directly plays into the show. For instance, okay. once we learn Ymir's backstory, all of her actions make sense, and we can see a huge change in character from Hanji in Season 1 to Hanji in Season 4, as the choices she has Hanji's to make as leader character. of the Survey Corps weigh on her heavily. I've talked about women in Attack on Titan a multitude of times, so I don't think I really- He's a pro Attack on Titan woman content creator. Really they need to do it again right now. The only issue that I have with Attack on Titan women is that there's just not a lot of them. Like there's five in the What? The Scouts and three in the Warriors. This one's dead. This one's been in a crystal for two and a half seasons, and these two don't even exist in the first three seasons, leaving very few female characters to Dude, get attached to. Saying? Oh wait, I guess Armin is there too. Anyway, the Got next him. and final anime I want to talk about in depth is probably the anime that has the best female characters. It's Jujutsu Kaisen. Of all the new gen anime- It's like, I'm s every example he gave was shonen. What about Chainsaw Man? That's shonen-ish, right? There's great female characters. I think Power and Makima are pretty much the two most liked characters in the entire show. Anime I've seen, Jujutsu Kaisen undoubtedly does female characters the best. A lot of them have their own fully developed personalities and actively fight the societal and patriarchal norms that women face in the world of Jujutsu. I think creating a world mm, where women right. are held to a higher standard is a great way to mirror our own world and mirror what women go through in the real world. Jujutsu Kaisen is one of the few shows that I've ever mm, seen do that. It's pointed out that oftentimes female Jujutsu sorcerers have to do more than their male counterparts to get the same degree of recognition. And even then, if their physical appearance or attitude isn't quite right, they can still fall short. I th See, I feel like Jujutsu Kaisen women are kind of boring. 
Hate to say it. Like, I'm not gonna say that, uh, listen, I'm not gonna say that they're poorly written or they're just, eh, eh, come on. You could use the same argument that you used for previous video, for previous examples to this one, okay? The, the female characters are much less interesting than the male characters in Jujutsu Kaisen, okay? You got freaking Gojo in Jujutsu Kaisen. You got Sukuna. Yeah, like, it, it, show me a female character in Jujutsu Kaisen that's as excited, that's as awesome as this. Like, you want to talk about epic badass female characters? You talk about Claymore. All the characters in Claymore, which are women. Dude, these guys are freaking incredibly well-written female characters. And that show came out in, like, 2005. Okay, Black Lagoon has incredibly well-written female characters. I don't know why you have to handpick a couple of shonen anime and talk about that. Like, yeah, female characters in anime are just poorly written. For example, here are three anime. And you know what? I'm gonna go as far as to say that Toga from My Hero Academia is a better written female character than any of the characters in Jujutsu Kaisen that I've seen so far. I think that uh, the same goes for Urza from Fairy Tail. I think this is a super important point to make when it comes to writing female characters and I wish more shows brought up this disparity. But I think the fact that not a lot of anime talks about this difference in expectations is part of what makes Jujutsu Kaisen so much more memorable for the women. And Wait, Jujutsu Kaisen is memorable because it keeps talking about how women have less than men? That's what makes Jujutsu Kaisen memorable. We haven't even talked about the individual women in this show because they are so developed and so multifaceted. Uh -huh. Maki and Nobara are such well-written characters, partially because they fight the above standards, but also partially because they want to do it for themselves. Maki is fighting so hard to prove herself in the world of Jujutsu because of the family she comes from, because she doesn't have cursed energy, and because she's a woman. And she's doing pretty well. Her goal of wanting to lead the Zenin household makes sense for her character, as we can see that she's always been strong-willed ever since she was a child. Nabara on the other hand- I don't want to make fun of the guy because like just because I disagree with this is Chris's take that doesn't mean I necessarily I, I have nothing against him obviously this is just his opinion and I respect it entirely but Chris she's not gonna fuck you bro your hand proves that you can still be girly without doing it for society she does it because she wants to and because she feels good when she's all dolled up and wearing her best clothing not because she has to do it i think the distinction uh, that both of these women okay. are doing what they're doing for themselves is very important to make as it is central to both of their characters and it gives them a lot of into dude my fav my least favorite part about watching gay porn the lack of women. Yes, you're right. In Shonen anime, that's mostly male power fantasies. It's mostly going to be about male power fantasies. I'm sorry. That's just what it is. And listen, I have my fair share of complaints about especially older Shonen stuff. Like, dude, yes, if you want to complain about Shonen's biggest problem, you know, honestly, I don't even blame it necessarily. I've seen Dragon Ball. <laughs> the female characters in Dragon Ball are not the best, even though there are still some good ones. Like, I think Android women is pretty freaking epic we got some shows like a kamiga kill and kill a kill and like a lot of a lot more with just incredibly well written and powerful and badass female characters lumping it all in because you watch three power fantasy male male power fantasy anime it's like saying every woman in the world is exactly like the women that get, uh, are freaking on andrew tate's podcast or whatever and, it's, and the last show i want to give an honorable mention to is spy x family this I haven't is read so random the manga yet but based on the seven ish episodes i've seen so far i think both dude hasn't watched the full anime of any of the ones that he's talking about. Anya and Yor have a lot of potential for being well-written characters. They're both very well At this point, well it is a characters. little bit too early to make that determination, okay, but they is. both have fully fleshed out personalities and they're both integral to the plot. But like I said, it's a little bit too early to be oh, sure. Good. They're At integral the end of to the plot. That's good. The, day, I think the issue behind these women is the men that write them. Every single anime huh? we talked about today was written by a man. Uh, except for Demon Slayer, which was the bulk of the video. <laughs> I have to remake this video actually talking about the problems with women. Not just a man, but a man who is interested in anime to the point that they make their whole career out of it. Speaking as someone who is doing the same, like, I can see that we lost. do not exactly interact with that many women. <laughs> you couldn't beat this out of me, bro.
You couldn't have me tied down to a chair and torture me to say this stuff. Bro is maidenless. This could play a part in why so many anime suck at writing women. If your main impressions of women are other anime or the way women are portrayed in media, you're going to have a skewed expectation of what it means to be a woman. How do you know? You also have a skewed expectation. It's by Twitter. Your Twitter is skewed and OnlyFans is skewing your expectations of what women are. Okay, all right, dude. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad that a lot of these mangakas are writing what they write. It's great fiction, oh, and it's still very entertaining. Oh, but nice. they could be better if they just wrote women better. It's You know, your story would be better if the plot was better. Anyway, thank you all for watching. This was a little bit different than what I usually do. But if Yeah. I didn't really like this video. I, if you did, check out This Is Chris. He's a small channel, and he will get better if he keeps going. That's just how it happens. This was one of the videos of all time, in my humble opinion. And if you get this video to 10,000 likes, I will make a video about anime's biggest problem, women. <laughs> like, subscribe, and follow me on Twitch. Stay weird, fam.